Hey, welcome back to K-12 Analytics Engineering. I am Marcus L. Kozer, and today we are going to be talking about how you can connect Google Sheets into Google BigQuery. Let's face it, your data does not live in one nice and tidy student information system that's feeding into the Edify ODS. And also, that's not our goal. Our goal is not for all of the data to go into the Edify ODS. Our goal is for all roads to lead to the data warehouse. We work in an ELT sort of way. So first we focus on extracting the data from our source systems and loading it into a data warehouse. The EdFi ODS is a great way to transfer the responsibility of data movement to your vendor. You stand up the ODS and API, the vendor pushes your data in, it's your operational data store, and then you move it into your analytics layer, which is your cloud data warehouse. And a previous video in this channel talked about how from within Google BigQuery, you can query your EdFi ODS and you can manage all of that SQL transformation work in DBT. So today we're going to be using this example of a Google Sheet that has some additional information on students that you want in your data warehouse because you want to join it onto other data that's coming from other systems. Today's example is going to use a Google Sheet that tracks student participation in extracurriculars and athletics. And so we've got that in a nice Google Sheet. We're gonna join it into BigQuery. We're gonna connect it to other data. Let's dive in and see how it works. All right, here is our sample Google Sheet that we will be using to track student participation in extracurriculars. You can see we have an ID field, a last name field, and a first name. So this would be the place where the staff member would put in the student for who the record pertains to. Then we have an extracurricular type. Here I did some data validation by right clicking on the cell and going to data validation at the bottom. And what I did was I set data validation to pull values into a drop down from a range in another worksheet. So down at the bottom I have extracurriculars types. Here I've put athletics and clubs. And so now I have this nice drop down where the person can choose one of those. So I've already kind of constrain them a little bit uh, to specific extracurricular types. Then to the right of that, I'm pulling from extracurricular names here at the bottom, and I have a nice drop down then of various extracurriculars. So you can see that I have a bunch of rows of data that is tracking things like Brian is uh, participating or was participating in basketball, and then I have under column F an actively enrolled. So this uh, lets me mark all the students who have participated at all in any extracurriculars and then specifically mark the ones that are actively participating in an extracurricular. So this is my sheet. I'm now going to go over to BigQuery here and I'm going to connect the sheet to BigQuery. So what I want to do is I want to create a data set. And I create a data set that houses all of my raw Google Sheets. So I set a data, data set ID of raw Google Sheets, set the default location to the United States. I think it's set, it creates it there anyway by default, but I like to do that. Hit create data set. And there's my data set on the left. So I will click on the three dot menu and click on open and click create table. And what I'll do here is I will create the table from drive and I will select the file format of sheets. I'll go back to my Google Sheet and copy the URL, and I'm gonna paste that in there all the way up to the key. And I need a sheet range, so I will put data A uh, colon F, and that's because I'm pulling from the data worksheet, not the other two, and just the columns A through F. So I go back, I've got data A F. Now I need a table name, I'm gonna create a table called student extracurriculars, and then I need to define the schema. So BigQuery does try to guess the schema if you want it to, it can auto detect, but I do like entering it myself because I like to ensure that it's gonna be exactly what I need it to be and I don't have to go and change it later. So here we can choose different names for the columns than we have in our Google Sheet, which is really nice. So our Google Sheet has student ID as a column name, but we know that in the analytics middle tier, that's called student key. And so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say student key, and then I'll go through and plug in the other ones. So we have student last name, 
we have student first name, we have extracurricular type, we have extracurricular name, so I need two more, and then we have actively participating. So this is a different set than what I have in my uh, Google Sheet, so this is my first chance to transform the data a little bit. Now for type, I like to use string for everything, just so I don't run into any import errors uh, down the line if things get funky in the sheet, which things always get funky in sheets. And so I just use string and then I take care of casting the data in dbt, which I'll show you. So bring it in, string, bring in nullable. That means that uh, a value is not required. And so it would be nice that every record has a student ID and then someone doesn't go in and put in a bunch of data with missing student IDs but we know that that could happen if a bunch of people are using sheets. So we are just gonna get the data connected. We are gonna allow for some flexibility here so that we can get it connected. And we are going to take care of some of that cleanup again in dbt. So I've got my schema here. I'm going to skip the header row. So I'll skip that first row uh, of the you know, student ID last name and just start bringing in the data. And I will click create table. So BigQuery has already created the table. If I click on go to table, I can see I have student extracurriculars under my raw Google Sheets data set. I can see my schema and then I can actually query it. So if I click on query and I select asterisk and I run this, I will see the data that is in my sheet. Okay, so our goal now is to join this data with the data that we're pulling from our EdFi ODS. And so all of that is gonna happen in dbt. Now for dbt to actually be able to access the Google Sheet, we need to share the Google Sheet with the service account that dbt is configured to use. So if we go back into our Google Cloud project and we go under IM and admin, if you have already set up your dbt then you have already created a service account and so here i have a service account called dbt and it has an email address so i'm going to copy that go over to my google sheet and i'm going to share the sheet with the service account and it only needs viewer access so i'll go ahead and do that and so now i can query the sheet from within dbt because the service account has access so let's go over to dbt cloud on the left, you can see marts. So in a previous video, we worked in this EdFi mart. And this EdFi mart is what contains a bunch of our external queries that pull in data from the ODS. But we have a new folder now. We have a folder called Sheets. And in here, I have two files. The first one is a schema file. And this is where I am actually telling dbt that, hey, I have this Google Sheet or really, hey, I have this table in my BigQuery and you need to know about it because I'm gonna reference it in places. And below sources, I also have models and I have one model set up right now called student extracurriculars. So the description for this model is, includes all currently enrolled students as well as any extracurriculars that they are actively participating in. So while this Google Sheet uh, does not have all students at the school district and it has students that are actively participating and not actively participating. The spec, if you will, for this model is currently enrolled students and the extracurriculars that they are actively a part of. So that's going to be our focus here. And it is paired with a SQL file. So if I go over here, we see that this is going to result in a SQL view that is gonna be under a schema called staging. And the actual SQL is selecting from our staging dim student school. And so that is the view that we created off of EdFi ODS data. So it grabs that first. And then if I jump down to where, it pulls only the currently enrolled students. And then it joins on the Google Sheet and so the Google Sheet then allows us to bring in the extracurricular type and extracurricular name. And then you'll notice here as well, I am only pulling in the uh, records where the student is actively participating in an extracurricular. And so if I right click and I click run, then I see this query result down below. 
Now, I'll also take this as an opportunity to show you that DBT gives us this awesome visual chart of what's actually going on with our data. And so what we see here is we have two dimensions on the left, DIM student school and DIM school. We see that those get used in a staging DIM student school. And then we see our source, that student extracurriculars uh, table in BigQuery. And we see that those two are joined together to create this new view that I'm showing you called student extracurriculars. All right, that's all I've got for you today. So that is how you can connect a Google Sheet into BigQuery and then a little bit on the DBT side around how you connect that to other data sources such as data from your EdFi ODS. As always, I am Marco Selkozer and this is K12 Analytics Engineering. Please be sure to hit subscribe to this channel if you're interested in more content.